Hi, this is Dinesh Kumar and you are watching Oracle videos. Now, in this video, so this is the sixth video and we are watching about arithmetic operators and relational operators. How should I use arithmetic operators? See here, <coughs> what are the arithmetic operators you are having? Yeah. So let me list out all arithmetic operators here. Arithmetic operators. First one, yeah, not first one, plus, minus, multiplication and division. Plus, minus, multiplication and division. There is no percentage symbol. There is no operator for finding reminder. Remember this. Okay. Now, what is the use of arithmetic operators? What is the use of arithmetic operators? To perform arithmetic calculations. To perform arithmetic calculations. Okay. To perform arithmetic calculations. Okay. Now, on what kind of data we can apply arithmetic calculations? You can perform arithmetic calculations on user's own data, on user's data and also on table data. Remember, you can apply arithmetic operators on user's data as well as on table data. So, how should I apply? See here, <coughs> on user's data, first let me consider on user's data. See, so on user's own data. So, means we are supplying data directly. We are supplying the values directly. So, then what is happening? See, <coughs> whenever you are performing arithmetic calculations on your own data, then perform the calculation based on dual table. Based on dual table. What is the dual? It is a system defined table. It is a system defined table. What is the use of this table? If you want to perform any direct calculation, then use dual table. Okay. By default, dual table is having only one column. By default, dual table is having only one column. What is the data type of this column? Varchar2. And what is the size of the column? Only one character. Initially, it is having only one column. There are no more columns. Whatever the calculated result is there, the result will be temporarily placed under dual table. Whatever the calculation you are applying on your own data, the result will be temporarily saved under dual table. From the dual table, you are displaying your calculation. Example, see, I want to perform, I want to add two values. Select 100 plus 400 from so you are not using any column name here after select keyword you are not using any column name then it is better to specify dual you need to perform the operation dual you can also specify other table names but unnecessarily you will get the output many number of times here for this query what is the output say here expression itself is the title under this you have the result expression itself is the title under this you have the result now i want to change the title of this expression yes you can change space within the double quotes specify addition so what is the title you are giving addition from from which table you are performing this? Dual. Yes, at the place of expression in the output title, it will display addition and it will display result under that. Right? So you can see, suppose, no, I don't want to specify dual table here. I can specify some other value, some other table name. Okay, let me consider employee table. Instead of specifying, you are specifying table name. Instead of specifying dual table here, you are specifying EMP table name. Let us assume under EMP table, you have 100 records. Let us assume under EMP table, you are having 100 records. 
then hundred number of times it will display 500 the result of this expression the result of this expression is displayed hundred number of times why because EMP table having hundred records so how many number of times it will display hundred times the output will be displayed that's not really need by us we need the output only one time how should I display instead of displaying the expression result from table just display the expression result from jewel table okay yeah and one more thing <coughs> suppose whatever the value in the jewel table that will be reflected to us select 100 from jewel what is happening from jewel it will display the value 100 that's it you are not making any calculations and then see select 100 minus 50 into 3 plus 200 so from jewel yes you can so what is 100 minus 50 50 50 into 3 150 150 plus 200 350 it will display right in this way we can perform arithmetic calculations on our own data remember if you are calculating some arithmetic operations on your own data it is better to perform from dual table what is a dual dual is a system defined table dual is a system defined table by default it is having only one column what is the data type of this column varchar 2 of 1 okay yeah so unnecessarily if you are not performing any operation then don't use table names if you are using column names while selecting data again I'm repeating if you are using column names while selecting data then only specify the table name after from keyword otherwise don't specify this is arithmetic operations on arithmetic operations you are performing on your own data then if I want to perform arithmetic operations on table data of arithmetic operations arithmetic operations on table data or on table column data table column data arithmetic operations on table column data in such a case how should I apply yeah see here <coughs> we have employee details table is there from employee table I want to display salaries by adding 100 rupees to each salary I want to display employee salaries and also salary by adding 100 rupees to each salary so how can I write this query see select salary comma you are adding 100 rupees to each salary yes from don't specify jewel if you use jewel here then it will display invalid identifier it will display invalid identifier why it is displaying invalid identifier so whatever the column name you are specifying that column is not available from the table jewel okay here you are using a table column the column name is sal column so the sal column is available from which table emp the sal column is available from emp table so that we have to specify emp table only remember okay next next example select i want to display salaries and here five percent of salary as ta okay 0 0.05 into sal it is it should be displayed as a ta comma and 10 percent of salary as da okay so here 0 0.10 into sal that should be displayed as 
DA and I want to see final salary. How should I see the final salary means salary plus TA plus DA. See, sal plus 0 0.05 into sal plus 0 0.10 into sal. So instead of these two, don't use TA, DA here. Why? Because they are not column names and they are not any alias names. Just they are output titles. So don't use title names here. It will not perform any arithmetic calculation. Now, finally, I want to display it as a final salary. Final salary. Yes, from EMP. Yes, from EMP. So this operation will be performed under cursor area. Remember this point. We will discuss about cursors in PLSQL. This operations means whatever the calculations are there, the calculations should be performed under cursor area. What is the cursor? Cursor is nothing but a temporary memory area. Cursor is nothing but a temporary memory area. Under that area, it will perform the operation and final results will be displayed on the database application. Now, this is about performing arithmetic calculations by using arithmetic operators on user's own data as well as on table data. Now, let me go for next concept, relational operators. Next concept is relational operators. What are the relational operators in Oracle? What are the relational operators in Oracle? Have a look here. Relational operators plus, sorry, relational operators equal to less than, greater than, less than or equal to, greater than or equal to. These are called as relational operators. And what are the negation of op operators? What are, what are relation negation operators are also there? Not equal to, okay? Tomorrow we will, in the next video we will discuss about that one. Let me discuss about relational operators. First, what is the use of relational operator? If you want to compare values against column data, <coughs> if you want to compare some value against column values, then we can use relational operator. How should I make comparison? By writing conditions in the select query. By writing conditions in the select query, you can compare the values against column values. Okay, so in the select query, where should I specify the condition? By using the where class. What is the class? Where class, remember. So what is the use of relational operators? To compare values. And, and where, so how should I compare the values? To specify conditions. To specify. Yeah. So see, to compare the values against column values, we will use relational operators. And so how can I make the comparison means? By specifying conditions. By specifying conditions. Okay. So condition has to be written at which place? Under where class? Under where class? We will write the conditions. So, where class should be written in select query. Where class should be written under select query. Where class so should be under select query. Remember that. Okay. Then what is happening by using like this is conditionally you, kill, you will get the data from the table. Conditionally retrieve data retrieve data or fetch data from table remember this so generally select employee names all employee names it will display select salaries all salaries it will display and uh, select employee designations all designations it will display select employee information all employee informations it will display but i don't need all values from a column i don't need all 
records from a table i need only required data how should i display that is done by using where class conditionally how should i select the data by using where class listen carefully what is the syntax of where class see syntax select here some list of columns okay and so on or you can select all column data from specify the table name and where class where specify the conditions and also if you want to apply order by class you can also apply order by some column list either you can apply in ac order or you will get the data in descending order this is the syntax of select statement with where class syntax of select statement with where class now see conditionally how can i select the data yes see how should i specify condition condition can be specified like this remember condition can be specified like this see in the condition part first column name we will use column name and here operator whatever the relational operator next value or you can also use subquery remember that what is the syntax of condition in the condition part the first component is column name next component operator and the next component direct you can specify the value or you will get a value from subquery it will form the condition now see how to display data conditionally let us see we have employee table customer details account details right let me introduce a new table called customer account details customer account details here account number account type account open date account balance customer id remember these are the columns from customer account details table so i want to get all employees information then select star from emp but i don't need all employees information i want to see only clerks information how should i see only clerks information i want to see select star from emp but before selecting the information verify this condition where job of employee is equal to clerk job of employee is equal to clerk see actually you are requesting about all column data from the table emp before getting the data verify job of employee should be equal to clerk so first what is happening here first the control goes to job column in the job column takes the first employee job value first employee you have some records are there so from that record first record take the job value suppose if it is admin admin equal to clerk condition failed admin equal to clerk condition failed skip the record go to second record in the second record take the job value suppose salesman salesman equal to clerk condition failed go to third record okay so in the third record take the job value what is the job value clerk clerk equal to clerk yes it was satisfied condition result is true okay in any case the condition result may be false or true okay condition result is always one boolean value condition result is always one boolean value see if the condition satisfied in the sense condition result is true if the condition failed in the sense condition result is false if the condition result is true get the data from the table if the condition result was false don't get the data from the table yeah see here so from the third record it will fetch your required data next go to fourth record 
take the job value verify with this if the condition result is true get the data from the record next go to fifth record so this kind of condition verification fetching data from each record for all records it will do the same action okay next <clears throat> get managers data according to salary get managers data managers data according to salary see here you have to apply two classes one is verify the condition and next after getting after verification of condition you are getting some output that output should be ordered according to salary you should use where class and you should use order by class okay you have to use where class select start from amp where job of employee is equal to manager I want to see only manager data but managers information should be displayed based on their salary order by order by salary remember this okay so then first it will apply where condition first it will filter the data so this kind of specific conditions is also called as filtering data from the tables filtering data from oracle tables yeah so here <clears throat> first verify job of employee right and so finally you have manager copy of data from the table all are managers then before displaying output to the client before displaying final output to the client order the manager data according to their salary order the manager data according to their salary means least salaried manager to highest salaried manager it will display okay least salaried manager to highest salaried manager data it will display finally okay so next get employee names and salaries get employee names and salaries if the salary value <coughs> if the salary value below 3000 see so you are getting employee names comma salary <coughs> from emp where the salary value you are requesting about less than or equal to 3000 or okay below 3000 less than 3000 okay and that employee names and salary values these two values should be displayed according to salary order so order by salary column listen so what is happening first it will filter the data according to salary less than 3000 condition okay some data is there that data will be ordered according to salaries least salary to highest salary and final output to be displayed to the client final output to be displayed to client okay come to here a customer account details I want to see only SB account details SB account details how should I see here select star from customer account details it is the table name but don't select all customer account details account type should be savings bank account sb account only savings bank account details it will display next select i want to display the accounts information related to one customer so c5 is a customer id c5 is a customer id suppose c5 is having savings bank account salary account loan account dmat account okay i want to see accounts information related to c5 i want to see all accounts information related to c5 
So select star from <coughs> customer account details where what is the account type? Account type you don't know account type we don't have to specify like that. So instead of that here you are looking for customer C5 accounts. So customer ID available under cust ID. So where cust ID is equal to C5 okay and these accounts information I want to see according to account type order order by account type clear suppose if the customer same customer is having loan account it will display loan account uh, SB account it will display SB account next salary account salary account so suppose if these three accounts next DMAT account four accounts maintained by C5 let us assume then these accounts ordered according to account type first it will display DMAT account information next it will display loan account information next it will display salary account and finally it will display information about savings bank account clear yeah so in this way you can apply where condition okay and whenever you are applying where condition you will get filtered data from the table you will get filtered data from the table according to where class condition the data can be filtered okay the only condition satisfied data should be displayed to client right and see whenever you are specifying a condition column name operator value column name operator value if this value is character type value or where care to type value character type value or where care to type value date type value okay all these type of values must be included in single quotes character value or where care to type value or date type value should be included in single quotes if it is a numeric type you may include it in single quote or you may not include it in single quotes clear yeah so now these are about relational operators remember this point now <coughs> have a look about hands-on part on this arithmetic operators and relational operators so let me start our hands-on part yeah so in your videos who is the person watching this video you can also see my self-designed table data like customer account types customer account details account types information customer type details information all these tables along with the data I will provide you you can create the tables as it easily yeah have a look at hands-on part yes now let us discuss about how to apply arithmetic operators so arithmetic operators you can apply on your own data and also on your on table data how should I apply see select 100 plus 200 from you can also use table name EMP but it is not fair you it is better to use always dual table if you are calculating some expressions on your own data see here actually employee table having 14 records so 14 number of times it is displaying the result 300 but we don't result that many number of times then use dual table what is dual I want to see the information about dual dual is a system defined table used to perform users calculations on users own data see 
first let me check about dual table describe the table name dual so what is the column name of the dual dummy and what is the data type of that column varchar 2 initial size is 1 <coughs> set line size 100 you can use like this now you can describe the jewel what is the name of the column dummy what is the data type of the column dummy varchar 2 what is the initial size of the column dummy 1 now so instead of calculating your own calculations on table data directly you can calculate from jewel 10 plus 20 from jewel see only one time it will display the results that is what we need we don't expect the result multiple times next suppose select 200 minus 100 plus 300 into 4 okay minus 1000 from jewel okay 300 is the answer here 100 100 plus 300 400 400 into 4 yeah so first it is calculating here so 1200 1200 and plus 100 1300 1300 here it has to say say here 300 into 400 1200 1200 minus 1000 or you can do first priority of the operator is star next priority plus and yeah first priority star next priority division next priority plus next priority minus here star 1200 plus 200 1400 minus 1100 300 is the answer right yeah <coughs> now see how can i apply arithmetic calculations on table data let us see i want to see employee salaries see select sal from amp order by order by sal right all salaries it is displaying i want to see salaries and by adding thousand to each salary yeah display salaries and by adding thousand to each salary select salary its original salary okay and comma i want to add thousand for each salary salary plus thousand so so here i am using after benefit yes you can use from amp don't use jewel it will display error message why because from jewel table salary column is not available so in this case it will display invalid identifier sal it is an invalid identifier so identifying yes i want to identify values from sal under the table jewel but jewel is not having salary column that's why use the respective table name emp see it is adding thousand rupees to each salary next so one more example let me discuss select salary this is the actual salary okay comma <coughs> and zero five percent of the salary is ta i want to see five percent of the salary is ta okay that should be displayed as ta okay fine and 10 percent of the salary is da okay right open the bracket 0 0.10 into sal okay that title for this is 10 percent of salary as da okay close the title quotes from emp order by yeah see before that i want to see the final salary also how should i get the final salary original salary plus yeah after da i didn't specify comma let me use comma so original salary plus da ta notations see 0 0.05 into 
salary okay plus here I am using double quotes yeah next open it 0 0.10 into sal it's a DA specification so final salary should be displayed as final sal from AMP order by salary say here these are the final salaries <coughs> so in the future videos you can also see how to round up the values by using functions yes let me write that point also here after finding ta i want to round up this value i don't need any decimal places <coughs> round off this i don't need any decimal places and also i want to round up da values also and here <coughs> round function i'm using okay i'm not specifying any decimal places means <coughs> it will not display any decimal points it will not display any decimal points okay you can also round up the uh, final salary also right so in the previous example under ta you have some decimal points under da you have some decimal points and in final salary also you are having some decimal points but i don't need any decimal points yeah here I don't want to sorry okay I don't want to specify any decimal after TA or DA value similarly I want to display final salary as a rounded value round off so and so value put it within parenthesis see is there any decimal point no decimal points <coughs> because you are rounding the values and here let me erase this this is what about arithmetic operator so on your own data and also on table data now what is a relational operator let me select ename comma job from amp it will get all values from ename and all uh, job values from job column and salaries from salary column but i don't want to see all these values i want to see only clerk's information how should i see select e name comma salary comma job from amp before selecting the data apply this condition verify the condition job equal to clerk or not see clerk is a character data if you omit the single quotes it will display error message <coughs> invalid identifier clerk so if it is a character data then you should specify <coughs> yeah you should specify the job value clerk within single quotes then you will get only clerk's data first it apply the condition before selecting your required data what is the required data here employee name salary job so this is my required data from the table but i don't need all employee names all salaries and all jobs i need only clerk names salaries jobs <coughs> first it will verify the job value is clerk or not if it is clerk then see I am selecting the data select star from EMP how the condition will be verified what is the condition you are giving job value is equal to clerk or not first this condition should be verified against each value under job column so first record value clerk equal to clerk yes from this record from the first record get employee name get salary and get job value yes clerk 
next go to second record verify the condition salesman equal to clerk false salesman equal to clerk false fourth record manager equal to clerk false okay so like that each and every value from the column is verified against the condition if the condition is satisfied then get your required information from the matched record okay yeah <coughs> now <coughs> get employee names salaries if the salary below 2000 select e name comma salary from emp and what is the condition salary you are looking for below 2000 and order by the salaries order by salary see here each and every employee is getting the salary below 2000 each and every employee is getting the salary below 2000 only condition satisfied records from that records only it is displaying your required information and here you are specifying salary less than 2000 you are specifying the condition on numeric value it may included in single quote it may not included in single quote that is not a problem okay so in the previous query we have not included the value in single quotes in the current query we have included the value in single quotes and then see so order by salary okay so instead of a column name i want to specify position of the column from the select list from the select list what is the position of salary column two so yes two yes it will display same output <coughs> okay in this way we can apply relational operators yeah so equal to less than greater than less than or equal to greater than or equal to so these are called as relational operators relational operators are helpful to filter the data from the tables so i don't want to see all the data i want to see only required data so how should i see required data from the table means you should specify condition on the columns then first condition should be verified from only condition satisfied records which are called as matched records from the matched records it will get your required data right that's all about arithmetic operators and relational operators in the next video you can see about relation negation operators special operators and logical operators thank you very much